The rest of my Paris collection cello talks are going to be about the bow. And I want to start out talking about a very important aspect of bow technique, which is finding the sounding point. The sounding point is the place closest to the bridge that you can get for whatever speed the bow is moving. If, this, if the bow is moving quickly, it's impossible to get close to the bridge, but we can push it down there for a richer, more focused, and a louder sound. And here's how to do that. Many very, very fine violinists do it this way. At the tip, they push the bow down there, almost like you're doing this with the bow. And coming to the frog, they push the bow the other way, almost like you're sticking your hand out towards the audience. better. Go towards the tip. Point the tip of the bow towards the audience. Come back. Push your hand towards the audience. This enables the bow to stay close to the bridge and it will give you tremendous sustaining power in passages where you need a big, rich sound. Be careful of one thing. Many chalice I see have a tendency to curl the first two fingers underneath the stick. And nothing could be worse for this because what happens then is the tendency is to pick the bow up with the fingers like this as it comes towards the tip. You actually want to be doing exactly the opposite. Not picking up, pushing the bow away from you. So practice every day finding your maximum sounding point bigger, healthier sound.